Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. At this moment in time, I don't actually know what I've named this video. It's going to be something along the lines of reviewing my 2019 fashion. Something like that. I kind of thought I had this video idea of just looking back to this time last year. See what I was wearing. Is it an outfit that made me feel good? Would I wear it again now? How many times did I wear it at the time? Was it sort of a piece that I enjoyed so much that I rotated many, many times? And it's really interesting. So I kind of picked an outfit from January, February and March because I wanted to keep it relatively seasonal, obviously. Um, so yes, it's very interesting. And I think it's quite good because A, you can potentially recreate an outfit that you might have forgotten about. So you're shopping your wardrobe. Um, and B... It kind of makes you revalue maybe pieces that you purchased at the time, thought it was a good idea, and then maybe didn't reach for very often, so potentially it wasn't a very good idea. So maybe you wasted your money a tiny bit. So this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. I'm going to show you a picture of the first outfit, and then I'm going to put it on and talk to you about it. Okay, so... The first outfit. There's nothing wrong with the outfit and in fact I'm putting it on again. I kind of like it a little bit more. It's just not something I, I'm going to reach for though. So I'm going to talk you through it. So first up we have just a black cross body bag. Absolutely wear that one a lot. There's a jacket from Monkey. Absolutely wear this one a lot grey lovely jumper from H&M wear this one a lot and really love it my problem is the skirt let's do this properly so as you can see I have a snake sprint snake print skirt on it's kind of the beigey black tones which kind of goes with the grey but not really um, and this skirt I have tried to wear so many times. It's cut on the bias, I think they call that, which is relatively flattering, although it just clings here. Um, whether you're tucking something in or not, there's plenty of fabric, but it just clings when, I don't know, it's just not flattering. And I think the length, of it is potentially flattering on some people but it's not doing it for me so in principle I kind of like these pieces all worn together no boots I love they're just my ankle boots cutouts um, from New Look and I absolutely love them no problem there it's just putting all these pieces together this outfit actually made me feel very frumpy and they're all quite on trend pieces but just putting them all together just wasn't working for me so i have never recreated this look in fact i have worn this skirt once that is it on the one occasion that i took this picture of it um so yeah like the individual pieces i will probably never wear this skirt again it's just unflattering on me next outfit you I don't know I don't know what to say I was gonna say you might laugh at me and I'm cool with that that's fine you've seen the picture you've just seen me sat smiling with this on I believe at the time I was wearing just my black jeans and wait for it oh reposition the camera I was wearing on my feet little red satin ankle boots I don't know what to say I don't know what to say about this outfit I don't wear the Baker Boy hat anymore the last time I wore this was in March when I went to Rome and I took it just so that if we were out and about and if it started to rain or get a little bit drizzly I could just pop it on and it would just save my hair a little bit um, the coat 
love it still absolutely still love it it hasn't been a staple for my wardrobe in sort of late 19 and then 20 as in 2019 2020 i've been reaching for my new khaki longer coat obviously as you would have seen but i do like it and i'm on researching for this video i did actually dig it out and wore it yesterday so yeah i do really like this faux fur this was from marks and spencers in their indigo range it has pockets and it's kind of like a little two-tone sort of stripe running through it almost it's really good quality and like i said i've had it easily i want to say four or five years something like that and it's really good just for chucking on if you're going to like a christmas party or something like that um you can just throw it on over any dress any outfit that you're wearing underneath and it just glamorizes it a little bit or likewise a casual outfit and you just want to add a little bit of something oh you don't know that it adds too much to this it might do it just really depends on your style doesn't it this um real retro t-shirt i've maybe worn it twice <laughs> this is one of the occasions i don't know there is something about when you have the trim around the neckline and the sleeves it's not my go-to style i just prefer a plain t-shirt or one color or, or one whatever it's doing this i'm not keen on as my style at the moment i used to love it back when i was 20 30 now not so much jeans obviously they're just cropped high-waisted jeans um, from pull and bear and i've worn them many a time and still appreciate them so yes let me talk about the shoes so i picked these up in marks and spencers in their sale only last sort of christmas as in 2018 so only just a year old i loved them at the time and loved them for that following season i haven't worn them since they they're just not my go-to they're just not my style anymore and i think if i break this outfit down individually there's pieces that i like and pieces that just need to be put away this is one of them this is one of them the jacket obviously i still love it the jeans and the t-shirt are all pieces i i like obviously the jeans more than the t-shirt but these two things need to disappear from my wardrobe for a wee while all right third outfit coming so this is outfit number three and i'm just going to show you all of it in its entirety this one's not too horrendous out of the three that i picked i could potentially work with this one again it is just basically a black scarf with little yellow stars on that i have had for many years i think i bought this in top shop like five six years ago i can't even remember all right so that and obviously i teamed that because of the handbag that i picked up in a sale i want to say matalan like 18 months ago two years ago something like that so i kind of get this i'm liking this it's breaking up the color or lack of it that we've got going on and then underneath i have just got a um, black slightly sort of turtleneck fine knit jumper which is really nice and i still wear very often um, in my wardrobe and this was from next and this is just a gray long line coat that i picked up from new look about two seasons ago um it's nice it's very much more of a spring autumn coat because it is quite thick uh, sorry quite thin um, and definitely comparing it to my new green khaki coat which has got quite a high percentage of wool in it that is definitely a thick warmer coat this is not a winter coat um but um yeah i do quite like it and i've got the same black jeans on just um sort of cropped raw hem and i'll show you the shoes so the shoes that i had on were these um little plimp soles from primark just their snakeskin ones and i do kind of like that with the look it was obviously a relatively mild day because it haven't been 
really reaching for any of my pumps lately unless I've got more of a chunkier sock and I definitely just had a trainer sock on. Um, yeah, on the whole, this is the better outfit, shall we say, out of the three. So there you go, guys. That was quite a laugh for me. I, I was always a little bit uncertain of the Baker Boy hat anyway. Every time I wore it, it just wasn't my thing. I'm more of a beanie hat girl. I've mentioned that before. Fur coat love. Quite a few of the pizzas, in fact, in their individual forms, I still like quite a lot of them. Put on the hat and maybe the red boots. Um, but I just think putting it all together, I don't know. Maybe one out of three isn't bad, is it really? Anyway, I hope you'd enjoyed this. A little bit of fun, isn't it? And actually, it's made me revisit some of the pieces in my wardrobe. Like I said about the fur coat, I haven't reached for that much this um, winter of 19 and now this winter in 2020. So I will reach for that more often. Um, yeah, it's so nice to see how our styles evolve. And I'm only talking a year on. Um, let's see what next year brings. But it's it's nice. It was a little bit of inspiration for me. And I hope you enjoyed it. Had a little laugh, maybe. So yeah, click that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and want to be around for future videos. Leave me a little comment. Tell me if there's anything that I did really majorly wrong. Please tell me. And I will see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.